Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. I've put together something a little bit different this week. I'm sure some of the veterans amongst you will be well aware of the lore behind the Golden Throne, so this video might not be for you, but it might however help some of our newer hobbyists that have joined us. In any case, if you want more of an in-depth look at the history behind the Golden Throne, then this video is for you. I've also put a bit of a narrative spin on this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. As I continue on with the project, I want to make sure I'm bringing you guys videos with noticeable progress, so for the time being I thought I'd make a video exploring the lore and history behind the Golden Throne, whilst I make substantial progress for our next video. That being said, let's get stuck in. In the grim darkness of the far future there is only war. The Golden Throne stands as one of the most significant relics of the Imperium of Man. This massive life support device sustains the Emperor of Mankind and serves as a critical pillar in the survival of the human race. The Golden Throne is both a symbol of human resilience and the oppressive stagnation of the Imperium. It resides deep within the vast and labyrinthine Imperial Palace on Terra, the administrative and spiritual heart of the Imperium of Man. The Throne Room is colossal, designed to reflect the grandeur and supremacy of the Emperor. Gothic and Baroque architectural elements dominate, with towering columns, intricate carvings, and vast vaulted ceilings. The scale is both imposing and overwhelming, emphasizing the Emperor's godlike status. The throne itself is an ancient and immensely complex piece of technology. It is a massive golden construct that serves as both the Emperor's seat of power and a life support device. The pyramid leading up to the Golden Throne is covered in cables, tubes, and arcane machinery, constantly pulsing with psychic energy. The throne exudes a radiant golden light and is adorned with countless skulls, aquilas, and other religious symbols of the Imperium. It is both a work of art and a technological marvel. The Emperor's body sits upon the throne, sustained in a perpetual state of near death. His decaying form is maintained by the throne's life support systems, his psychic presence still powerful enough to guide humanity and maintain the Astronomicon, the psychic beacon used for interstellar navigation. The throne room is protected by the Adeptus Custodes, the Emperor's personal bodyguards. These genetically engineered superhumans are clad in golden Auramite armor and wield formidable guardian spears. Tech priests from the Adeptus Mechanicus are also frequently present, tending to the Golden Throne's intricate systems and ensuring its continued operation. Also found in the throne room are numerous other servants, from robed Ecclesiarchy priests to silent servo skulls. Each fulfill various roles within the throne room whilst maintaining a constant state of vigilance and devotion. The atmosphere within the throne room is deeply reverent and somber, the air is thick with incense and the faint hum of machinery. Hymns and prayers to the Emperor echo through the vast space, reinforcing the room's sanctity. Though the exact origin of the technology is unknown, the Golden Throne was discovered by the Emperor sometime in the 30th millennium. When the Horus Heresy threatened to tear the Imperium apart, the Emperor and his traitorous son Horus fought upon the Vengeful Spirit. The Emperor was mortally wounded, and to save his life and preserve his immense psychic power, his loyal followers placed him on the Golden Throne. This arcane device would sustain his physical form and amplify his psychic presence. This was both a desperate measure and a calculated strategy. The Emperor's continued existence on the throne allowed him to project the Astronomicon, a psychic lighthouse essential for faster-than-light travel through the warp. The Golden Throne is an intricate fusion of ancient technology and esoteric knowledge, much of which has been lost over the millennia. It operates as a powerful psychic amplifier, channeling the Emperor's formidable psychic energy across the galaxy. This energy manifests as the Astronomicon, a beacon that guides the vast fleet of the Imperium through the treacherous warp, without which interstellar travel would be nearly impossible. The throne also acts as a containment unit, preventing the Emperor's psychic essence from dissipating or being consumed by the malevolent entities within the warp. Maintaining the Golden Throne requires a constant supply of psychic energy, often derived from the sacrificial consumption of thousands of psychers each day. 
This barbaric practice underscores the dark and desperate measures the Imperium must take to sustain itself. Despite these efforts, the throne is deteriorating, and its ancient mechanisms are breaking down, a symbol of the larger decay afflicting the Imperium. The Golden Throne represents the paradox of the Emperor's divinity and his humanity. On one hand, the Emperor is revered as a god by the Ecclesiarchy, the state church of the Imperium. His continued existence on the throne is seen as a divine miracle, a testament to his godlike endurance and the sanctity of his rule. And on the other hand, the necessity of the throne's life support functions and the Emperor's comatose state highlight his vulnerability and finite nature of his mortal coil. The throne also epitomizes the stagnation and decay that plague the Imperium. Whilst the Emperor's guidance remains crucial, his physical and psychic imprisonment prevents him from actively leading or innovating. This static leadership results in a civilization trapped in a cycle of perpetual war, unable to progress or evolve. The Imperium's reliance on ancient technologies and lost knowledge further accentuates this decline painting a picture of a once great empire slowly crumbling under its own weight. The Golden Throne is crucial in the Imperium's continued existence, and its failure would spell disaster on an unimaginable scale. The potential collapse of the throne raises existential questions about the future of humanity and the nature of leadership in the Imperium. Could a new leader rise to take the Emperor's place, or would humanity be consumed by the tides of chaos and the myriad other threats that besiege it? Does the ceaseless need to sustain the Emperor and maintain the Astronomicon divert attention from potential reforms and advancements? And does this continue to trap the Imperium in a cycle of suffering and repression? As the Emperor endures on the throne, so too does the Imperium endure, clinging to life through desperate measures and unwavering faith. In the end, the Golden Throne serves as a powerful reminder of the fragile balance between survival and decay in the grim darkness of the far future. So there we are guys, something a little bit different this week. Let me know what you thought of that, hopefully it should keep you tied over to the next update video on the project. There's been quite a few improvements from the project since you last seen it, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. If this video filled you with an unignorable rage, please let me know too. Otherwise, if you haven't already, please check out the links for Instagram and Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.